So it's coronavirus time and us full Nestor family have been putting off some home DIY repair for a while. So what are we going to do today? Fix a bathtub. We have a, a few little chips in the bathtub that we're going to try to tackle because the kids are home. Uh, there's not too much to do. We're doing some social distancing right now. So we're going to use a porcelain chip repair kit that we got for Home Depot. Since we don't have masking tape at home, I'm just going to use a regular scotch tape. Should be okay for bathtub repairs because masking tape is basically to uh, prevent pulling the the paint off. Since we're in the bathtub and it's porcelain, it should, it should work. I'm gonna use my credit card, uh, an old credit card, instead of a smooth smooth edge. But any smooth edge should work. We'll use this smooth edge paint. And we're gonna use a fine sand paper to sand it all down. Let's, let's go, go fix, fix the, the bathtub! Yay! <laughs> yeah, let's go! Number one step for bathtub repair is you really got to prep the surface. Since we just used the bathtub, it's a little bit wet so we're gonna have to dry it first and we're gonna get the whole family involved and make it into a full nester family activity. Mm. Hey, who wants to help daddy uh, dry the bathtub? Me! Which one? Me! Me! Okay, you both can help. You wanna come? Yes! Okay, let's go! Okay. We're gonna use a hair dryer and we're gonna blow dry that spot. Do you see the spot? That's a dark spot, the rust spot right there? And we're gonna blow dry it. What do you wanna do, Kylie? Dry the bathtub. <laughs> okay, let's get in the bathtub. Okay. You wanna take a turn too, right? Yes. Take this and then we're gonna oh, turn it on. And we're gonna dry that spot right there. See that spot right there? Yeah. Okay, let's get the bathtub nice and dry. Next step is we're gonna tape up the spots. So, there was saying, you get a tape? Where did I tape it? Okay, how do you get a tape? Cheese. <laughs> so what we did is we taped all around the places that we're gonna paint. Uh, put the repair kit on uh, so that Whoa. the repair kit doesn't get everywhere. Whoa. Put the repair kit on and then sand it down. Oh. It should be good. We're just gonna put a little dab on this place so that it covers the spot. I don't want to put too much because this thing is not exactly color matched to the bathtub. We'll do enough so it fills that in entire spot. Don't worry if the paint is a little bit thicker and it's not level and flush with the bathtub. We're going to come back over with a straight edge. In this case, we're using a credit card to make it as close to the thickness of the tape in this case as possible. The instruction also said let it dry for 10 minutes. Go back, we're going to sand it and then see how it is. We'll go back and reapply if needed and let it dry overnight. It took a little bit longer than 10 minutes for it to dry, but that's okay. It's drying hard now, so we're going to go sand it down and make it flush. After sanding it down for a little bit, it's definitely smoothed out the edges, but the divot still has a little bit of divot, so we're going to fill it up the second time and then try this again a little bit later. So it's been a couple of days, but we finally got it done. The reason why that is, is the curing time is a lot longer than 10 minutes. It's actually around 12 to 24 hours. So every time I found an imperfection, I had to wait another day to get it rectified. The overall results is decent. The color is not perfectly matched and you can't completely sand it all the way flush. But this paint is supposed to be waterproof and we'll see how long this lasts. And we'll definitely update you guys on this. You can see it for yourself. I think it's gonna work because masking tape is basically not pull the paint off since we're doing the bathtub. It should be okay.